And now we will proceed to absorption in thin films. So what we have here is two glass slides. One is blank. We will use it for our baseline measurement. And the other one is a glass slide with the sample. It's been coated and sample was mixed with polymer matrix, dissolved in salt and then spin coated on the surface. So first we will use empty one, which also needs to be cleaned and it should have no dust particles attached to it. So for glass slides we have a little holder on the side. So we're going to load our blank sample. We'll have to do baseline again because we changed type of the sample. So I took the blank sample out. Now I'm going to put the actual sample. It's important to make sure that the material on the slide is on the way of the light beam. So it measures actually the compound and not just empty glass. Now press start. And wait again. And again, as you can see, this is the absorption of sample in thin film versus same material in solution. And you can see they're slightly different. Since we do not know the exact concentration in the thin film, we cannot calculate extinction coefficient. The important information from absorption in thin, thin film is the wavelength, maximum wavelength. When the run is over, computer will ask for file name. And you can select path and name for file. So now if we, if we want to zoom on particular area of the spectrum, we can left click and drag. If you want to zoom out, you just need to do double click. If you don't want to see all the peak information, you do right click and unselect mark peaks and valleys for a current spectrum. If you want to select a different spectrum, you need to press data print and press a different data raw and then you can unselect mark peaks mark valleys and again don't forget to save your data and again to do that select the spectrum of interest for example this one go to file save as data print table give it a name and this is pretty much it.